a Dutch cargo ship carrying thousands of cars, only 25 of them which were electric is said to be ablaze about to sink. One person has burnt to death. Most of the other crew have jumped off this huge ship into the ocean. And German ministers are saying it's because of an EV. EVs, fires from electric cars, in fact, are just as common as those from internal combustion engine vehicles, but more dangerous. Is this the kind of propaganda the German government wants to spread to slow down EVs, or is this simply an objectively true fact? Well, fortunately, I have the answer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I only want you to subscribe if you think I provide value and you want to watch regularly and find out what's really going on in the car market or really going on in the global automotive industry. However, this ship is going to set back the EV adoption a little bit. Unfortunately, the media just sort of seize on this information to say, I told you EVs are dangerous. They'll burn all of our ships. Likely you'll die in a fire unless you jump off. So EVs are terrible. What really happened? Well, interestingly, no one really seems to know, but we do know a few interesting things. Mercedes had some cars on that ship. We don't know what other brands of cars were on there because no brother brands want to really say whether or not their cars were on it. They want to avoid being blamed. This ship is still on fire. If you're watching this video and it's somewhere around before the end of July, it's likely still on fire. And it's right now off the Dutch coast with nearly 3,000 vehicles on board. So far, one person has died after they were burnt to death. The rest of the crew have jumped off the ship and been saved apparently by helicopters. About 350 other vehicles on board were Mercedes-Benz cars, according to Japan's Shui Kisen, which owns the ship. However, it's not clear what other brands are on there. We do know that Stellantis, Toyota, and Renault said it's unlikely they had cargo aboard. For some reason, Stellantis, Toyota, and Renault don't even know if their cars were on their ship. They're just saying it's unlikely. So they don't know, we don't know, no one knows. A Volkswagen spokesperson said the company was investigating the matter but was unable to provide further information. I'm currently reporting on this issue, but the fire started three days ago on the Panama registered Fremantle Highway, which was en route from Germany to Egypt, forcing several crew members to jump overboard. So considering these cars were well manufactured in Germany and they're not being sold in Egypt, it's probably unlikely that any of them were Teslas Probably unlikely that any of them were Chinese EVs because they're not currently being made in Germany, obviously. So I'd say it was most likely a German-made electric car. Possibly. That's what the media will tell us anyway. The Indian embassy in the Netherlands said in a social media post the fire had resulted in the death of an Indian seafarer and injuries to the crew. Now, from what I can tell, all 23 people on board, aside from the person who burnt to death, including several injured crew have been rescued by helicopters and lifeboats. The rescue ships spray water onto the burning boat to cool it down. But the problem was they couldn't put out the fire because using too much water has risks or will risk causing the ship to sink. A salvage vessel was hooked on to stop it from drifting into shipping lanes. And they're still hoping that it won't keep burning so it doesn't sink. The fire though will continue to burn for several days, it's believed. Here's what the company said. The fire is most definitely still not controlled. It's a very hard fire to extinguish, possibly because of the cargo the ship was transporting. The Coast Guard said on its website that the cause of the fire was unknown, but a Coast Guard spokesperson earlier told Reuters it began near an electric car. Roughly 25 out of the 2,857 vehicles on the ship were electric. Now, I'm not really sure how the Coast Guard knows that the fire began near an electric car. I'm going to assume the Coast Guard wasn't on the boat, and I'm going to assume they didn't get on it, considering only a helicopter has um, been able to save some people on boats. So I'm not really convinced that it was an electric car, but it could have been. It's certainly possible. Now, a German spokesperson said this, electric cars burn just as much as combustion engine cars. When batteries 
overheat and a so-called thermal runaway occurs, then it gets very dangerous. A chemical reaction in the battery produces gases which inflate the battery. So is this actually true? Is he correct to say that electric cars set themselves on fire or burn just as frequently as internal combustion engine cars? Well, actually, no, that's categorically false information. In fact, it's about 10 times more likely that an internal combustion engine vehicle will actually set itself on fire. In fact, I've been in a car that set itself on fire when I was driving along. Driving along I was sitting in the back seat, smelt some smoke, and yeah, it was a General Motors vehicle, in fact, a General Motors sedan, and it um, ended up burning, but it didn't really just burn like crazy. It kind of burned, it smoked, and then it lit itself on fire. It was a pretty low level fire, and we were actually able to put it out, which was good news. However, the point is here that no, this German minister is wrong. It's not true that EVs set themselves on fire or are involved in fires as a percentage anywhere near as often as internal combustion engine vehicles. In fact, they're much less likely to catch on fire, especially modern EVs, which often have lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now, interestingly, I'm yet to see a fire in a lithium ion phosphate battery being responsible for any of this kind of any situation like this where they simply set themselves on fire on a ship or something like that. There has been EVs that have done so, but all of them have been using lithium ternary batteries or lithium batteries with nickel and cobalt rather than iron and phosphate as the battery chemistry. However, there's a trend in the industry moving towards lithium ion phosphate batteries. In fact, lithium ion phosphate batteries with manganese, which are more energy dense, they're safer, they last longer, less likely to catch on fire. So actually, EV fires will continue to decline and be rarer and rarer as the majority of the industry moves towards lithium ion phosphate because it's cheaper and safer to use those batteries. By the way, they're also in around 60% of the Tesla vehicles sold worldwide. That said, new rules under consideration by the maritime industry will take years to implement, but will include likely specifications on the types of water extinguishers available on boats and limitations on the amount a battery can be charged, which impacts flammability. Now, Tesla actually is known to ship their EVs without a full charge, and this could be one of the reasons potentially. Now, Dutch broadcaster said this, there was a lot of smoke. The fire spread quickly, much faster than expected. The people on board had to get off quickly. We fished them out of the water. Unfortunately, one of them couldn't be saved. Do we have any proof at all that this fire was caused by an EV? No, we don't. There's none. In fact, 0%. Is the media trying to tell us that it was? They are. Of course, it's more sensational. It's more interesting and people are more likely to click on the story. Is it true that EVs catch on fire more than internal combustion engine vehicles? No. No. 